Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Oh, I'm going to try this again. I got almost through the first <laughs> take of this video and then of course my son called me and I had to stop and I'm not good at editing. So, um, so I know I've been kind of MIA the past few weeks. Uh, sorry about that. But I have been picking so I have a lot of stuff to show you. I'm going to show a lot of stuff in this video and then I'm going to come back uh, and show you the stuff that I got this past weekend and the week before that. Um, the stuff in this video is from like three or four weeks ago. So um, it's been, you know, kind of busy. I've been trying to focus on actually working and listing things and keeping up with my goal of getting stuff listed the week I buy it, which so far is so good. So I haven't been making videos or watching as many videos and plus everyone in this house it seemed except me got sick the past few weeks either colds spring allergies or um, the lovely stomach virus that my daughter brought home and then gave to my son that was fun um, so then the oh there goes my phone sold something yay <laughs> um, what was I gonna say hey now I lost my train of thought um, oh, so that's what's been going on with us. The only um, other exciting thing in my life the past few weeks, or at least my daughter's life, was we went almost three weeks ago, and as her first Holy Communion present, my husband and I let her get her ears pierced. So, you know, we made her holier. <laughs> she was so excited. We had one person on each side of her so that she, you know, there would be no debate as to whether she would get the other hole after the first one got done. And she was fantastic. My sister-in-law came. We had a girl's day and had ice cream after. So that was a lot of fun. Much more fun than the stomach virus. So um, I'm going to start. I'm going to do this as quick as I can. Uh, I showed you guys in the last video a big lot of thimbles that I bought for $5. I've already sold, I think, five either individual or lots of them and still have a bunch to sell but so far I've made about 60 so pretty good on a five dollar investment and I forgot to show this one to you guys which cracked my husband and I up this one and I have two of these I have a green one too it says true lax the pleasant laxative <laughs> so I pulled this one out and I'm reading it and I showed it to my husband he goes they have a thimble for laxatives? I said, apparently. He goes, what are you supposed to do with that? I said, I don't know. Maybe if the laxative works too well, you're supposed to, I don't know, insert it somewhere. <laughs> so we just had a hoot over that. We were laughing hysterically and cracking jokes about the laxative thimble. All right. Um, let's see. I really had to work to find most of this stuff. Um, hasn't been an easy few weeks but I did go to a sale at a Catholic church and it was huge and I thought I'd find a bunch of stuff and didn't find nearly as much as I thought I would but I found this needlework kit brand new for 50 cents um, didn't sell at auction but I have a bunch of had a bunch of watchers on it so I shouldn't have a problem selling that in the store got some mugs of course uh, this one is a golf theme mug since I only play golf on days that end in Y and looks brand new hopefully that'll sell closer to Father's Day this is a novelty mug this is the left handers mug and if you are not left handed and you try and use it it has a hole in the back so that you spill your drink all over yourself which I thought was pretty funny then there is a Sandra Boynton one. These are all 25 cents, by the way, the mugs. Uh, this one has some spoon marks in the bottom, but for 25 cents, I just had to get it. It says, go for it with the little mouse pulling the elephant. And then this one <clears throat> sold at auction last night. I have to ship this out. It's this green mug. It's from Orvis, which is hard to read. The reason that I bought it was because it has this frog sitting in the bottom of it. And I found out later these are called mystery mugs when you've got little figurines or th surprises at the bottom of them. And there is another company called NASCO. It's N-A-S-C-O. 
they made a, apparently a whole line of these. If you can find those, buy them because they'll go anywhere from 30 to 50 a piece or maybe more. It's crazy. Um, I haven't found one of those yet, but I'm going to keep my eye out. Uh, the other thing I found at that school sale was this. Uh, I went to pick up the lid and was surprised at how heavy it was because this is actually cast iron with enamel over it. It's, uh, I think, from the 50s or 60s. It's made in Sweden, which is one of the reasons I bought it. And I cannot pronounce this name. I think it's Klafferstrom. I don't know. I don't speak Swedish. Um, but it's K-L-A-F-R-E-S-T-R-O-M. And they made a lot of these pieces. Um, there's a lot of these casserole dishes listed on eBay. If you can find the bigger one, the bigger ones will go immediately. The smaller ones take a little longer to sell. But I paid like two for this. Uh, should be able to make about 20. It didn't sell at auction, but I had watchers on it. So it should sell in the store. And I bought a Scrabble game there for a dollar. Then I also got this for a dollar. This is a Tweety Bird latch hook kit. And it's open, but it's never been used, so it's basically brand new. I bought this because I found two latch hook kits the week before and already sold one of them for $20. Then the last thing I bought at that sale, I paid, I think, two bucks for these, was this lot of Baby Einstein puppets. If any of you out there have had kids within the last probably, I don't know, 15 years or so. You might be familiar with Baby Einstein. I know we are. We have a ton of their videos and my seven-year-old still watches them. She's been watching them since she was, I don't know, a week old and she still watches them. Uh, some of these are kind of faded and this dragon has what I think is glue on it, but I couldn't go wrong for, for two bucks. I should be able to make Maybe, I don't know, 25 to 35 on these? Not quite sure. I think there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight. But there's another type of these that on the label here, it's going to say, I don't know, something. I think it's scrubbing something. I'll have to put the, the name of them up there for you guys. But... I think they were puppets you can put in the bathtub. If you can find a lot of them, buy them. Because I saw one lot that went for over 300 and one that went for over 800 for puppets. It's insane what people will pay money for. All right, um, then I hit a sale one Friday morning a few weeks ago. It was really slim pickings there, but managed to find this crystal, this one of those laser etched crystal things you put on a little stand, the hot air balloon, the lighthouse. There is a a boat in there too. It's hard to see. Um, but I paid a quarter for it, so that's why I bought it. And then this was also a quarter of this vintage Holly Hobby figurine. I should be able to make about 10 off of that. And I thought that was the only sale that day, but on the way home, I found another one, which was at a horse farm, and apparently she's selling the horse farm, already sold the horses, so she decided to have her yard sale inside the stables, which was a first for me. There are a million and one horse farms around here, but I've never been to a sale that was in the stable. Um, the only thing I picked up there was a Scrabble game for a dollar and a black swing line electric stapler that had the adapter with it and sold that last week I think after shipping for about 16 or 17 so those are pretty good sellers the electric staplers um, there were some community sales I went to and found some things found this Conair instant heat hair setter I had it up for $24.99 with free shipping and of course, with my luck, somebody in Hawaii bought it. So after shipping, I make, I don't know, 10 bucks. But 
Hey, it's better than nothing. But, you know, sometimes I make money in shipping and sometimes I lose money. Um, what else did I find? Oh, this is the other latch hook kit I found. This is the Bart Simpson bubble bath Bart kit. Brand new and sealed. I also had a Homer kit, but the Homer kit sold for 20 and I had to ship it to France. Apparently the woman's son is a Simpson fanatic. Um, these were a dollar each for those two kits. Then these I picked up out of a free box and I'll probably only make a few bucks on them, but they were easy to list and they're easy to ship. These are NASCAR Jello molds. And I put in my title that, you know, you could use them for uh, I think clay or soap, play doh, you know, whatever. They're not just for, for jello. Uh, and I have a few watchers on these right now. And what else? Oh, at that same sale where I found the jello molds. I think I got a Scrabble game from there too. I think I picked up like four or five Scrabble games in the last few weeks. Also got this 2002 miniature Hess Voyager, brand new in the box for a quarter. I don't usually buy Hess trucks, but you know, for a quarter it was still sealed. Can't go wrong. Also got this golf themed Stein. No name on it, but it's just a really nice quality piece. Looks like it never been used <clears throat> and it was only 50 cents. Then at another sale, I found this mug. This is a milk glass mug. Lazy K distributors, um, you know, they sell horse tack and stuff like that. Um, they're actually still around in our town today. And this is, has the F in the shield, so that's a federal piece. I did have some watchers, but the auction ended. Now it's in my store. Got a Starbucks snack set for I think two bucks, but these aren't really selling well right now. Hopefully around Christmas they'll start to sell. But really cute set. Then I went to one of my favorite sales they have every year at an adult it's an adult daycare center. And I usually find some good stuff. This year wasn't that great. Uh, by the time I got there, they decided to open the doors early, which I wasn't real happy about. But I got some needlework things. These are two ribbon embroidery kits that I bunched together. There was another one in here, but it's just the paper for it. It's the kit's not actually in there. Then, just got some charts. These are all samplers, so I put these together. And then this is a Prairie Schooler chart. These usually sell pretty well by themselves, so that's basically why I bought all this stuff together. Uh, paid a buck for all of it. Then the only other two things I got at that sale was this Sandra Boynton mug, which was brand new in the box, which you don't find very often. So I put this up in my store for uh, $20. And then this was my best find. This is a Wilton Armital piece. I don't think it's from any particular pattern. It's just pretty much called a corn cob pitcher. I paid a dollar. I paid a dollar for the mug too. I paid a dollar for this. I should be able to make 40 to 50 on it. I have it in my store right now at 50. Then I went to another sale where, again, slim pickings, but I did find this Radio City Christmas Spectacular uh, with the Rockettes, and it's brand new and sealed. I paid 50 cents. I might keep this for myself, only because we used to go to the Christmas show every year, but my seven-year-old does not like shows and has no desire to go. So I don't think we've been there since she was, oh no, we haven't been there for maybe five years because she refuses to go with us. 
which makes me nuts because you're an hour away from like the biggest one of the most famous theaters in the world with one of the most famous Christmas shows and she doesn't want to go <laughs> makes me twitch um, this was on the free shelf at that same sale this is a Tupperware build a fun block set I don't think it's complete but if you can find these complete or if you can find the bigger sets the bigger sets send it tend to sell better I might make a few bucks off of this but not very much and I couldn't pass it up for free and also on the free shelf was this this is an UNESCO treetop treasures ornament I think these are pretty hard to find it's an elect electronically enhanced ornament it's a little top ooh okay that's lighting up I must hit the switch problem is the bottom lights up but the top doesn't light up and the train and the soldiers don't turn around so I'm gonna have to get my husband to try and open this up and see if he can fix it because this might actually be worth something this is the battery pack here you hang it on the tree next to the ornament so if I can get that working that might be worth something um Bought a couple hats at one sale, already sold the one for I think $13. It was a trucker hat, had a patch on the front with a cowboy leaning up against a cactus that said um, Lazy Man or something like that. Sold that to someone in New Zealand, but that was 50 cents. And then so was this Giants hat, New York Giants graffiti style hat. It's brand new, so I listed it for uh, at auction for $14.99. It didn't sell, so I popped it in the store for $19.99. All right, only got a few more things, I promise. A set of Beavis and Butthead DVDs. Some of them are still new and sealed. I picked these up for three. And a Hallmark Light and Motion ornament, which I haven't been able to get it to work yet because I can't get it plugged into the light strand the right way. Have to have my husband look at that too. That was a dollar. And this picture frame. This is one of those laser cut wooden frames. It'll probably sell closer to Christmas. But really pretty hunter green with these gold holly leaves. That was a buck. I paid a buck or two for stitch here. He's dressed in his naughty sweater with a snowball and he's got the tags on him. And I think this is the last thing. I got another set of puppets. These are Lillian Vernon puppets. Oops, the mask came off the, the doctor one. But there's a doctor, construction worker, fireman, police officer. There's sports themed ones with baseball, soccer, basketball, and football. And then fairy tale ones. Unicorn, princess, the king, and the knight. Picked all those up for five. Should be able to make probably 25 to 35 off of those. Puppets are always a good sell. And I think that's it. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys everything I bought at uh, sales in the past two weeks. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.